Hello everybody. Okay, I'm um, not finished the house yet. I'm going to show, I can't fit all in the camera at the same time, but I'll scroll up and down and hopefully um, I'll show you that I did little stairs on the bottom and the feet that you see on the bottom. Right now I put it in this little carousel thing so that way I can show you easily. And while I'm working on it as well too, it comes in handy. So I put the um, the little wood feet there underneath that are still, uh, you know, a question mark. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not. Let me know. Help me uh, decide. Um, I've stopped here now because I need <clears throat> a little bit of help too. I'm wondering if I should continue um, decorating. I'll bring it back out again. The little windows. Um the door which which is really cute you can see the wood grain in it look at that and the flowers here now on the no doorknob there I put um, little beads which are really cute little Murano beads and so this is one side the roof so up till now I've been using like Lindy stamp gang colors I've been using magicals I've been using primary elements I've been using um, the deco art metallic lusters beautiful they're adding the finishing touch on everything okay and this is the other side hoping the light is hitting it good so this is one of the sides that um, that I did always with the picture frame in there the the little wings on the side there's a little plaque in there that says art and um, the doily flowers on the bottom there it's pretty colorful I don't know if you're getting it in the camera or not because it's much more brighter um, it shows up much more darker in the camera yeah so I'll bring it out again this is the back side of the house it has two little windows and then um, on the top I put gears um, this little flourish in the corner um, here I put a gold charm with a little gold gem in there for as a, you know a heart shape and then the flowers always on the bottom and here you can see how actually nice and bright it is the, the lighting's better on this side I don't know why but yeah always the same products you know just going over it with sprays and dabbers well because because of some of my one of my some of my lindy's have dabbers on them i could take them off and put the sprays but i'm actually opening them up and using a brush as well to spread these colors um what i will be doing is making some white accents you know getting some white paint and start accenting here and there so it'll come out even more I could stamp on it. I have not used a stamp yet. This is the other side. This is one of the completed sides where I wanted to ask you guys if if you think um, it's good like this or not or if I should um, continue. So there's gems in the middle of the flowers and some of the gems I've put even some of these gold silver caps right there. There's one right there little beads little pearls flat back pearls and and these are actually like little doilies and then some um, chipboard flowers pasted on top some of them is just lace and um, and then the gems on top and and then I'm adding you know the some of the things and here I put um, three butterflies in a row And here is my favorite part of the whole thing. My little fishy. <laughs> so this little fishy, this little fishy came out of a package. They, at Lidl there was Japanese week, so I took advantage of it, especially for the cocoa milk, because I can't find um, cocoa milk here. Coconut milk, sorry, coconut milk. So um, I run to Lidl and get them, and there's this pack of sushi, frozen sushi. So I bought some for my son, Valentino. Um, I really have never tasted it before and I tasted it for the first time just a little piece because I'm kind of um, afraid of raw fish 
but anyways yeah it was pretty good i liked it actually and i even um there was even that wasabi sauce that i put on top of it that um, i really enjoyed as well too but yeah i just had i just tasted some because like i said um i have a delicate stomach and i'm afraid of raw fish so in this little fishy thing there was a cap to it on his on his nose on his not his nose what's the thing called in front of his fin no the fins are on the side where his mouth was it would there was a little screw on top and in here there was some soy sauce i think and i loved it so much that um i i just said give it to me <laughs> don't throw it out because i'm going to use it and i did and i put it in here so yeah that's pretty cute and uh, there's some lace and then i found a little anchor um a little anchor thingamajigger there a charm and um, I put on a crown on his head as well, too. And I put some gems on top of it. Brickwork. There's not a lot of modeling paste on this thing. But you know what? With the, with the lace flowers and everything, I pretty much covered it up pretty good. And here, you know, you can see where I've used some of the gems on top of the... the some of the bead caps on top of the gems to take away because I, I did use lots of color here which like I said it's not picking it up that well on the camera but um, so I put the bead gems on them to tone down the the colors a bit um, put more silver and I might be adding actually like I said you guys help me out here because um, you know I would really like to know your input what if I should do more to it if I should do less um, like I said I, I love the way the ceiling came out and then I grunged it right underneath the shingles with some black um, lusters and excellent product I love it it's a bit dry but I've worked out that you have to kind of wet your wet your finger and then we're back to the front of the house and which I don't know if I showed you my little my little lamp here with the it's, this is um, a chipboard piece that was supposed to go flat, like on a journal page, and I still have another one because there was two. But I kind of detached this piece here and glued it to that. It's a bit delicate, but, you know, I'm not going to go there just ripping it off. And So, yeah, the door again. And um, I did something wrong here with, was when I put this, not accounting for when the door opens. So... When I open the door, I kind of have to lift this just a touch to open the door. And then in here, I'm going to have all my stencils. So like I repeat, this is going to be on my desk. And um, let me know, what do you think of the feet underneath? If I should put them, if I shouldn't put it. If I don't put them, it's just going to lay flat. It, it opens perfectly well the same the door. Um, the stairs, I really like the mosaic, the, the um, washi tape, which makes it look a bit mosaical. And um, I'd like to know your input on that, too. What do you guys think of it? So, yeah, there's the Murano beads with the, to open it up. And even on here, I put another little gem. Um, not a gem, I'm sorry. This little button piece was from jeans. When you buy jeans and you get those extra buttons. And then on top, I put a bead cap. So there's the house. It's pretty much finished, you guys. But like I said, um, there might be another video showing com complete, complete. Like if I decide to add the feet. If there's going to be enormous changes on it, I'll show it again. I don't think it's really going to change much. But like I said, I want your input. I would love to know because, you know, I'm still in time. I could like whitewash the whole thing and, and start all over again if I wanted to. And um, yeah, so there you go, you guys. I hope you... Um, I hope you like it. I'll bring it out again. Try to get the best light. I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm wobbling around. And yeah, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this um, project. Until the next time. Bye.